Hey everybody and welcome. Um, not going to waste much time today. The goal today is going to be to explain Docker Compose in about five minutes. Take a couple minutes. So uh, let's get started. So what we want to do is use a Docker Compose file. And what is Docker Compose? As you can see, I have my Mickey Mouse uh, logo right here. And so what Mickey is doing is, is he's orchestrating all the instruments to play together, right? So everybody's looking at this composer and the composer is saying, hey, go faster, slower, uh, this part of the... The symphony do this, right? So keep that in mind. Think of Mickey when you look at this Docker Compose file. And for the Docker Compose file, what we're going to do is grab, uh, there's a COVID app that I found on Docker Hub. Um, I've used Shiny Proxy, so I just found an image that I want to show. Like we can kind of recreate that pretty easy. And then I'm going to make a home page, and the home page is going to look like this. So on the home page, I'm going to put it at that port. And uh, basically you're gonna be able to click that and it's gonna take you there to the COVID app. You're gonna be able to click the Shiny Proxy and you're gonna be able to go there. So this will all be networks on the local machine. So let's get started by actually looking at the code. So for the code, here's the composer. Once again, think of Mickey Mouse right here. So Mickey Mouse is setting up three different services. Uh, one of which is the COVID app. And so you're getting this from Docker Hub. So, You're getting this from Docker Hub, right? So it's just a COVID app. I think it's from Johns Hopkins. Um, so naturally, Shiny is looking, is going to emit from 3838 uh, in terms of the port on the machine. Uh, and I'm going to set this to port 80 on the local machine. So that's what we're going to be pinging. Um, the same thing with Shiny Proxy. I just found some of the image. I set up a couple of different arguments here for root and then the host name. And then I'm putting it at port 8989. And then the third piece, which is a little bit more in-depth that we'll go into for just an example, is to set up your own Docker file. Uh, and we're going to do this in this folder for the Shiny Gallery. And once again, I do want to keep in mind that that composer, um, the reason that the, the composition file is sitting at the same level, um, and it should always be at the top, is that when, you know, Mickey Mouse is orchestrating, he needs to be at the front in order to see everything, right? It's the exact same thing with this. You want the compose file to be on the top just because then it can orchestrate the rest of these. For example, if I wanted to build a homepage app, right? So you'll see I'm going to build an image in this directory, the Shiny Gallery. So that just means everything up to this point, add, um, let's build the Shiny Gallery. And then it's gonna look for a Docker file in particular. So this Docker file is gra grabbing uh, Rocker, which is our Docker. And we're gonna install Shiny. Uh, we're gonna copy all the stuff in this directory and we're gonna put it here. So it's just copying from here, putting it there. We're gonna set that as the working directory. And then I'm gonna run a command and it's gonna run the R script of the app.r. This app.r is super basic. So all we're doing is we have two hyperlinks and those are in the UI. Uh, we have two hyperlinks that we created uh, in the server. So this is going to be port 80, 8989. And then I'm going to host it at 8686 on the local machine just to show typically it's 3838 uh, like you see here. However, uh, I'm just going to show that um, on the shiny side, you can set the port. And then in the composition, it'll pick it up and then it'll network it to 8770. So uh, if we do Docker compose, and then if we run docker desktop and if you're familiar with it just go to the install for windows uh, it's easy to do on a bunch as well great okay so you'll see it's getting there okay so it should, we're going to be starting the container soon okay. and so now you'll see these are all running and so you'll see that down here. After we did the Docker Compose, it's running all these different applications, in particular three, right? They're all three. And what's kind of cool about the Docker desktop for Windows, um, well, one just to show it, these are the three Docker images, right? So it's keeping track of those for you in a nice little UI. And then if we go to the home page, you'll see this local host. Um, you can also go to these other ones. So that's Shiny Proxy, and then the third is the COVID app. 
So if you look at these, I can also do this. So that was the app, right? You click on this and it takes you to the other spots on the machine. So that is one way um, you can easily do that. And using this can be easy, especially if you get confused with the networking, because it'll automatically point you to where to be going. So, um, and just a note, to stop it, control C, you'll see it stopping these. And you'll be able to see it on the side as well. Exited. Still doing these two. But voila, all of them are exited, and you've officially stopped the raw composition. Thanks.